Okay, now let's start with our first uh, customization tutorial. Let's say in our let's say in our purchase requisition application, if we open one PR, then we will like let's say if we want to create a new custom field unit cost and like cost, a totally new fields and we want to have the same behavior that is when we enter a quantity and uh, some unit cost then it will automatically multiply the uh, quantity and the unit cost to calculate the total line cost so uh, in order to do that then we will need to add the fields using the uh, database configuration application but then we will need to write some java code to enable that uh, automatically uh, calculation so that's what we're gonna do so first of all we will need to add the two fields in this uh, screen first so we will start with the database configuration application now we will open the uh, PR line object I will quickly do that uh, so the uh, uh, way to add new attributes and change uh, object in database configuration is not the purpose of this tutorial so I'm gonna do it very quick here Okay. And I will add a few to the uh, front end. Let's see if the uh, database configuration has been updated or not. Okay, it's not working. So let's go back. Oh, it's favorite only because uh, it has a change uh, and approved status, so it cannot be changed. Let me open this one. So now uh, what we want to do is let's say if we enter $100 here 
then it will multiply the number here with the quantity and it should have a 200 here so that's what we want to do so basically uh, in order to customize Maximo then usually we refer to the existing code in the system so let's say if we want to have these two fields to have similar behavior then these two fields then as uh, the first thing that I usually do is to look at this field to see what code it associated with this field so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open the database configuration application again open the PI line object and then go to the uh, standard out of the box unit cost field and we can see here it is referring to the uh, this class so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open this uh, existing out of the box class to see the uh, code structure and I'm gonna copy the same code structure to use with my new field right, so it is app common purchasing so that's what I'm gonna open I'm gonna go back to Eclipse here then with our existing project, I'm going to open the uh, reference library, open the class folder. Let me go back here first. So we have two classes folder here. The first is the class folder of the business object uh, library and the other is for the uh, web UI module. So in this case, we're looking at the business object folder. I'm going to open it and then go to the class that associated with the unit cost field which is the SDI app common purchasing yeah what is it let me say new for unit cost unit cost yep so when we open it we can see this is the existing code uh, within Maximo so basically we can copy paste this whole thing and then update it out code with uh, what we want to do so in this case I'm going to copy the whole thing and now I'm going to open I'm going to create a new class first I will need to create a package first let's call it custom then uh, app, then yeah okay and now I'm going to create a new class let's call it uh, Now I'm gonna test the whole thing. This and obviously uh this is a pretty complex code here. I don't really need that, so I'm gonna remove the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. So what I need to do is first I will need to change the package. Uh, so, custom, uh, yeah, okay. Change. Yep, so that's the uh, basic setup. And now, uh, what we need to do is to write our action method, which uh, will be called when we finish entering a value into the field and leave out the field so in this case I can reuse some of the existing code here so I can say this one okay. I'm gonna make it really simple here so remove it so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the value of the quantity field Uh, 
on the needs and name of the uh, quantity fields of the flight to maximum. I'm going to press an F1 here. Yep, F1. We get the name of this field. Now I'm going to set it back to our new light cost field. So I'm going to change the name of the light cost field. this guy I'm gonna make it really simple by ignoring all of the other exception or other standard behavior that we don't really need yep okay so we got our new code so it is automatically built so that I'm gonna need now is to deploy the new code so we got try device copy. Yep. So WebSphere will automatically reload the new class in this field, in this case. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the uh, new field that I got. And tell Massimo to use the uh, new class that I just written with this new field. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change the custom app. See my package custom app here and it goes new. So what I just did is I uh, tell Maximo that when I do something with this field, then it will look at this class and to look at the method that I have written to see if there are any code that it needs to invoke. So in this case, I'm going to have to save it. And then I think I have to apply the change as well. Yep. So I have to apply the change. Yep. Okay. So now let's go back to our recipe requisition application. Yep. This one. Okay. Let's say we have one convert here. You can see that uh, when I enter 100 here, then it will calculate the new cost field by multiplying this value and save it here. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.